Hello YouTube! How you doing? This is Keith Kevin Ken. How you doing? How you doing? TGIF, it's finally freaking Friday. Man, oh man, oh man, oh man. One of the slowest weeks around. I know all weeks are the same amount of hours. I guess my patience was, was short. <laughs> I think it's all the gray skies, man. God bless you guys from the um, northwest, uh, Seattle, and, and et cetera. Seattle's a beautiful city. That area is beautiful. It's got so much stuff, but man, I could not. I mean, we've had these gray skies on the East Coast for what a week, week and a half, and it is just it just drains you, especially in the morning. Um, but anyway, I hope if you guys are down, any of you down south, or you know people down south uh, in the Carolinas, I hope everyone is safe. My mother actually lives in North Carolina, so she says she's okay. She's more in the mountains, but I'm still worried because I keep seeing those maps saying there it's coming that way. So um, I hope all of you are well. Time again for another pocket dump deconstruction. Uh, today I'm wearing my Apple Watch. Yeah, I'm an Apple fan boy. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna get the, <laughs> I'm gonna get the Apple. I call it X 10s Max. Can't wait for it. I love my Apple uh, 10. I call it X. Um, but I love the big um, phones. In fact, all of my videos that you guys have been watching, all my videos are on an iPhone. That's why the quality isn't as great as some other folks. Also, all of my Instagrams are done by an iPhone. I'm sticking to that with Instagram. I have a lot of cameras, but I want it simple. And I've been shooting on my 6 Plus. And I would have stayed with the 6 Plus, but the 10 had so many other great things connected to it. Um, but now I get the big screen, which I love. It costs an arm and a leg. As I told someone, man, that's about five spiticles. <laughs> so, <laughs> even more, <laughs> if you're talking about Delicas or FRNs. Hold on a second. Oh. Oh, man, with the weather and everything, I had to get a Mandura. I only have several, <laughs> a, a, a few Manduras in my humidor, and this is a nice one. Spartacus, Mandura number one, chocolatey and just really a nice smoke. Oh, no matter what, I'm going to, I've been coming home, and because of all the going through the day like in a slog i just have been going to sleep early <laughs> so <laughs> this weekend <laughs> i don't know what's going on this weekend um let's see okay of course my shown design tie pin one of my coach thin wallets today it's scotch and yes i'm putting in <laughs> I'm putting in some single malt. Uh, let's, oh, 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 let's see the coin today. I'm carrying, this isn't, for some reason I couldn't find it. It's somewhere. This isn't my proof coin, the shiny coin. But this is the uncirculated. This is, I don't know if you got, can you see that? Yeah, it's celebrating the Boy Scouts. I was a Boy Scout. That's where I got my first knife fell in love with knives then. I didn't start collecting then, obviously. Cub Scout, Boy Scouts of America, be prepared. Kind of apropos for this week, right? Let's see if I can still remember it. I'm 59 years old, and you know how you memorize things. It's like the Pledge of Allegiance or something. I remember, let's see, trustworthy, loyal, helpful, friendly, courteous, kind, obedient, cheerful, thrifty, brave, clean, and reverent. <sighs> How about that? <laughs> Boy Scouts of America. 
Wouldn't it be interesting? Instead of us talking about it or tweeting about it or making, you know, memes about it, if everyone really was trustworthy, loyal, helpful, friendly, courteous, kind, I don't understand the obedient <laughs> thing, cheerful, thrifty, okay, I lose out on thrifty. I'm not a good Boy Scout. Let's see, thrifty, let's see, reverent, I see, I can't do it in the middle. Trustworthy, loyal, helpful, friendly, courteous, kind, obedient, cheerful, thrifty, brave. And we know, of course, we just passed 9-11. And what's ongoing with people, uh, our professionals and and all the service folks and, and police and, and everything. We have a lot of brave souls around. Anyway, uh, enough of my Boy Scout days. But there are these little lessons <laughs> that just stick in the back of my mind. I don't follow them. I'm not a good Boy Scout, but I respect that. All right, there's the field notes. Let's talk about it. You know, I have the original, this is the Spartacus square head too. I have the original square head. I love these little knives, of course, from Spartaco because they are my keychain knives the original square hair was great it was all let's say it was titanium it had a lock on it it had s30 v steel actually i think it was s35 vn i'm not sure one of those steels um they wanted to do spartaco wanted to do a less expensive one still has the lock right there you see that the liner lock stainless steel liner the um, the steel is CTS BD1 steel, so a little less expensive steel. 1.3 inches, 3.5 total, of course, the sheep's foot. These are the dog tag um, knives. Spinnacle has, what, four with Serge, Pachenko, and now three. They did two of these. This is the gray FRN scale one, and then they have a black FRN scale one. It's pretty, for, for Spyderco, a pretty nice uh, knife that doesn't cost as much as the first one. Um, but I really love these knives. Sturdy, thick stock, comes out real sharp, and it locks. The Serge Vachanko, uh, why am I saying that wrong? Am I saying that? I don't know. It's Friday. Um, but just a real nice knife. Real handy knife. Again, comes in gray FRN and black FRN. But a lot less expensive than the original square head. There's nothing less expensive <laughs> about the half track. I like it. Yes. It's a bat. It's a fat chubby. <laughs> But I do really like this small knife. It is smooth. It flips out there. It's one of the newer designs from Hinderer. And it comes in all kinds of different flavors. He really put a lot of them uh, in different ones. I like this. This is a full tie version with that texture. It gives a little grip, but also looks great. So it has jimping on it as well 2.75 inch blade 6.6 .6 inches total they're expensive they're in the 500 range they really are s35 vn steel and smooth and flipping is great weighs 4.3 ounces see-through construction of course just a real nice knife. Has a little bit of a fuller, interesting, it doesn't go all the way across just right here. It takes off a little bit of the weight, I guess, off of that thick stock. I really like it. Of course, has the hinderer screw. Has the regular hinderer clip. It is, huh, it looks like it's only, is it only right? 
yeah, it looks like it's only right hand tip up, which is unique for a lot of the hinderers running out of space with this smaller knife. But man, if you have to flip one. If you go to a knife shop or something or someone has one, you just have to flip it. It just flies out there. It's, everything about it feels smooth. Here's an older Hinderer XM18 3 inch S35 VN steel as well. Does not flip as fast and smooth as the newer ones. Has the same pivot. You know, these 3 inch XM18s I really love. S35VN steel from Crucible. I mean, to me, that's almost the perfect steel to me. I know there's so many exotic steels, and you guys see a lot of them on this channel, but I really like S30V and S35VN. And I know when people complain about it, I don't think it's the type of steel. I think when they complain, like from Spyderco uses S30V on almost everything, a lot. I mean, we've seen them use, you know, they really love their steels, but they do a lot of S30V. I think people complain because the price of some of the fancier knives are up there for Spyderco and other people, not just Spyderco. And then when they get, they hear S30V because it's been around so long, <laughs> you know, people go crazy. But as you guys know, and I tell you a lot, unless it's changed, I don't know about the newer model of Chris Reeve knives, but you know he's been using S35V and steel since Crucible came out with it on all of his knives, except for, of course, the Damascus ones. Just a real nice knife. I like the size. I'm a Hinderer fan. I don't, you know, I... That dagger, the flipper, I forget the name of it. I lust after that. I was I was going through Blade HQ just this morning, lusting after that. Um, I'm just not in the knife buying mood except for Spydeco. I'm saving my money for when Spydeco drops all their knives as a collector. But uh, that's the Hinderer. 3.4 ounces um, with the gray G10 see-through construction. In this case, it is right hand, tip up, tip down from Hinderer. And there you have it. That's the pocket dump deconstruction. You guys, keep safe. Keep dry. Keep sane. That's the toughest one of all that I just <laughs> talked about. And uh, I hope you guys find, um, oh man, it sounds corny, but some happy time, huh? I know sometimes it's hard to find it. Now, it's hard for me to find it sometimes. Uh, one thing to remember, and you know, I love showing off the stuff. You guys know I buy and collect. My place is packed with stuff. Um, so take it from a 59-year-old grandfather father. Uh, you can't buy happiness, man. Got to find it within. So take some time and find it within. Trust me. Your significant other, your kids, your friends, everyone. Everyone will see your joy once you find it. Corny, yes, but I'm old. It's Friday and it's rainy all week. I'm going to be corny, damn it. <laughs> you guys have a good one. Take good care of yourselves. Keep those pockets full. Goodbye.